Let's minimize the use of polythene and plastic. Watch and learn. I understand that 90% of you do not subscribe my channel. If you enjoy this content and learn something from it, I invite you to join our growing community by hitting the subscribe button. Your support really helps this channel to develop and grow. Polythene and plastic have become one of the most widely used materials in the world due to its durability, flexibility, and cost-effectiveness. Plastic is a synthetic material from polymers, primarily derived from petrochemicals. Polythene and plastic pose significant threats to the natural environment and natural habitats due to their long life and resistance to degradation. However, the negative impact of polythene and plastic on the environment is becoming more and more evident, and it is essential to reduce its use to protect our planet. Animals often mistake plastic waste for food, leading to choking, digestive issues, or even poisoning. For instance, marine animals like fish and turtles frequently ingest polythene, which can block their digestive tracts and lead to death. Birds are also often entangled in plastic debris, affecting their mobility and survival. Polythene and plastic waste also affects the food chain. When microplastics, tiny plastic particles, enter marine environments, they are consumed by smaller fish, which are then eaten by larger species, eventually impacting human health as well. In addition, the production of polythene and plastic releases harmful chemicals and greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change and air pollution. Moreover, plastic production consumes enormous amounts of natural resources, particularly petroleum and water. Reducing our reliance on polythene and plastics is essential to minimize these environmental impacts. Fortunately, there are several sustainable alternatives that can replace polythene and plastic in many everyday uses. Bags made from natural materials, like cornstarch or potato starch, decompose much faster than polythene and don't leave harmful residues. These biodegradable options work well for single-use purposes, such as shopping bags and packaging. Instead of single-use plastic bags, people can use reusable bags made from cloth, jute, or canvas. These bags are sturdy, last a long time, and greatly reduce the need for plastic. Glass and stainless steel containers are great alternatives for storing food and beverages. They are durable, recyclable, and do not release harmful chemicals. For plastic utensils, bamboo or wood is an eco-friendly option. Bamboo grows quickly, making it a sustainable material, and these products decompose without harming the environment. Replacing plastic packaging and polythene wraps with paper products can also help reduce plastic pollution. Paper is biodegradable and can be recycled or composted, making it a more sustainable choice. Many countries have already banned or taxed single-use plastics and supporting these initiatives can further encourage people to adopt environmentally friendly alternatives. Schools, communities, and media platforms can raise awareness of the dangers of plastic and promote sustainable options. Reducing polythene and plastic usage requires awareness, commitment, and effort from individuals, 
businesses, and governments. While switching to sustainable materials can seem challenging at first, these small changes make a big difference in protecting our planet. By choosing eco-friendly alternatives and spreading awareness, we can reduce plastic pollution, protect wildlife, and contribute to a healthier, more sustainable world for future generations. By following these steps, let us protect our environment and ensure a cleaner, healthier future for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel for more educational essay videos. See you in my next video.